Hi, my name is Joe Miller and I'm a consultant with Blue Horseshoe Solutions. Blue Horseshoe is a global ISV with over a decade of success in deploying Microsoft Dynamics AX, warehouse management, transportation management, and strategy solutions. Personally, I've been specializing in supply chain solutions for 16 years. In this time, I have configured multiple warehouse and transportation product implementations and trained super users and end users. Warehousing in AX is a new module in AX 2012 R3 that allows for flexible warehouse management. Warehousing in AX is an advanced distribution and order fulfillment solution. It can provide a complete real-time and global view of your business efficiently. In this module, you will learn about the functionality that warehousing in AX brings and how it is designed to meet customer needs by increasing the visibility of the product throughout the warehouse. Warehousing in AX with its configurable nature allows it to fit into almost any warehouse business process. To understand all of the functionality that warehouse management in AX 2012 R3 contains, you must understand some basic warehouse management concepts. One concept is the warehouse layout itself. Warehouse layouts consider space and size restrictions in order to create the most space efficient storage locations. Location profiles are used to define the location's properties and can be used for configuration grouping purposes like a zone. When you use warehouse management in AX, the product can be stored based on the percentage of the location that can be filled or based on physical size restrictions. Besides storage locations, another important part of the warehouse are the inbound and outbound docks. The docks are where a product can be received into and where a product will be shipped out of. Ultimately, the warehouse layout is decided by the company's needs and warehouse management in AX can be customized to fit what works best. A second important concept with warehouse management is the operational flow. The typical operation flow begins with product being received into the warehouse and put away to locations in the warehouse. Next, an order is received so product is picked from the warehouse and sent to the dock door. The final step to the process is to ship confirm the order when the truck is loaded with the complete order. An additional production flow exists for some companies that produce their own product. The flow requires picking of raw materials for production, the production itself, and then a finished good is produced. When the finished good is produced, it can be moved to a storage location until it is ready to be picked for a sales order. In the operational flow, there are concepts around product handling. Warehouse management in AX allows for many storage and picking strategies. For example, we can let the user be in charge of deciding where the best place is to put the product away or the best place to pick the product from. This kind of strategy is user directed. On the other hand, we can allow the system to decide what the optimal location for the product is by using system directed strategy. Picking strategies can then have multiple layers of security in order to verify that the user picks correctly. One instance of this is using check digits to verify that the user is the correct location. Another instance would be using quantity verification to validate that the correct number of items are being picked. The biggest piece of warehouse management falls in work creation and execution. Work will be created when using warehouse management in AX, which will then be completed by a user on a mobile device. The work itself can come in many varieties. As I mentioned before, the work can be user or system directed. If it is system directed, it may have priorities which will require certain pieces of work to be done before others. For example, replenishment work might have to be done before picking work for the product to be in the correct picking location. In warehouse management in AX, warehouses which are enabled to use warehouse management processes can then contain locations in which to store product. Grouping of locations called zones in the warehouse can be configured. These zones can then be used for allocating product more effectively. Warehouse management in AX introduces new inventory dimensions that must be managed. These inventory dimensions are inventory status and license plate. The inventory status that features inventory blocking 
prevents reserving of the product for shipping and does not show up as available quantity. Having the inventory status eliminates the need for a quarantine warehouse because products will be restricted in the same warehouse. For example, if we have a product that is broken, we can change the status of that product to damaged with inventory blocking. By doing this, the system knows not to use the product for shipping to the customer. The second dimension, which is license plate, is a unique number that can be tracked in the system that will represent that particular set of goods and their properties. For example, a license plate of LP1 can represent one pallet of 1,000 pieces of item A with a particular batch and inventory status. After a license plate is assigned to the product, then work can be created and completed in warehouse management in AX. Throughout the work process, the system will keep track of the license plates being moved or changed. If the quantity being picked from the license plate is not the full quantity, then the original license plate will remain but be decreased and a new target license plate will be created on the mobile device. Warehouse management in AX also introduces a new inventory and reservation model. This model includes reserving at the license plate, batch, or serial level. The reservation hierarchy can be changed to allow for work to require the batch or serial number the customer is ordering. You can do this by selecting the batch or serial number above or below the location level in the hierarchy. In order to ship sales orders details, warehouse management in AX creates shipments and loads. A warehouse management in AX load is a set of sales order details grouped and going out on a single truck or rail car or other mode of delivery. A warehouse management and AX shipment is a group of sales order details going to the same destination on the same load. A load can have one to many shipments and a shipment can have one to many sales order details. Let's go ahead and take a look at the mobile devices. In warehouse management in AX 2012 R3, you can create mobile device menu items which can be used to perform functions on the mobile device out in the warehouse. The menu items are added to particular menus, and those menus are in turn assigned to the mobile device user. The user can not only be assigned multiple menu items based on the task that they perform, but they can be limited to work in one warehouse or given access to many warehouses. In order to use a mobile device, you must first connect it to the network. After that, you can use Internet Explorer to browse to the URL that is configured by using IIS during the installation process. The mobile device can be set up to use colors to indicate success, errors, defaults, or warnings so that the user on the floor has their attention drawn by more than just a message. In addition, the mobile device can display different size screens for handhelds versus truck mounts. The mobile device can be used to do an inquiry at three levels item, location, and license plate. This is a good way to find product or to do a quick random audit without doing an actual count. Let's look at the mobile device emulator now. Let's log into the mobile device. I'll use a pre-configured logon and I'll show you how to create that worker later on. We have pre-configured menu items and we're going to go to the inquiry. And these menu items can be changed to be named whatever you'd like. Uh, item inquiry is what we're going to show you first. I'm going to use A001. You'll see that it's showing you, you know, the, the multiple locations that it can be found in, the available quantities, and the reserve quantities within that location. Next, one layer down, we'll show you the location inquiry itself. We will use location 01, A01, R1, S2B. And now it's going to give you specific information about the product in that location. So you'll see that there's a total of one license plate the license plate specifically that's in there, the item, the quantity, and its status. 
Now let's look at the license plate itself. So we can do a license plate inquiry. And we can put in BHS105. And it's going to give you the attributes about that license plate. It's going to show you which location it's in, the item, its description, the quantity, and the inventory status. Let's take a look at the workflow in warehouse management. In warehouse management in AX 2012 R3, the workflow begins by looking for a place to either pick up from or put down to, based on whether it is an inbound or outbound order. Warehouse management does this through location directives. When a place is found, work templates will be used to generate the work. This work can have multiple pick-put steps if needed in a case such as staging before shipping. Also, through the work generation process, a work class will be assigned to the work which will control who can complete that work. Warehouse management in AX supports inbound, outbound, and production process flows. If we first look at the inbound piece, you will see that warehouse management in AX handles the receiving and put away process for purchase orders, return orders, transfer orders, production orders, and Kanban orders. These orders will be processed by using the mobile device scanner and can be put away based on the user selecting a location or the system selecting it. The next process flow is the outbound flow. In the outbound flow, warehouse management in AX covers sales orders, transfer orders, production orders, and Kanban orders. Here, the order will be picked according to the workflow and location directives. The final process flow is the production flow. Warehouse management in AX handles the movement of the raw materials to the consumption location. The system can also do the report as finished process from the mobile device, which adds new dimension to the finished good. These dimensions are the finished good license plate and the new inventory status. Let's move on to the module review. In this module, I have described how warehouse management in AX is used to manage all inbound and outbound processes in the warehouse. I have also introduced some important processes that you will be working with in later modules, such as location directives and work templates. Go ahead and try the knowledge check questions to help you remember the key points of this module.